God him the always love, let him your words you lay down the burden of your heart, lay down the burden of your heart. I know you'll never miss it, oh, show your daddy better. to say hi. And I said, I want Lisa and Robert to go to Oak Grove. Lisa says, I'm too young. And I said, no, you're not. You're 12 years old. <laughs> and she says, I'm too young. And she did not want to go. And Carol said, that's fine. You can't make the kids go. If they want to go, they can go. And then they started thinking, he may not be too bad. We took a 2,000 mile uh, trip. We saw Yellowstone. We saw the seals. We saw every, the redwoods. And we arrived at Oak Grove, and Lisa still did not want to go. They got out of the car, Robert and Lisa, because that was the night for the um, physical exams for football and all that. So guess what happened? Lisa walks in, didn't want to go, met two friends instantly, and said, Mom, I really like this. And who were those friends? Chris and Cindy. Wild and Robert walked in, took a look at how big the seniors were, and said, No way, I'm gonna go sit in the car. <laughs> Lisa was the one that didn't want to go and ended up being fine in that first year. Robert had his times, but the two people who will know more about that than anybody is Carol and Danny because you're the ones, you're the reason. If you hadn't stopped through that day and said, Nah, don't make them go, they wouldn't be here today. So, Carol, give us a couple of embarrassing moments. You know all these kids. They says, live with us, sister. Phone rings at 11.30 at night, and we talk for an hour or more, and, you know. It's boys. It's boys, Carol and I both went to Oak My mother went to Oak Grove, so it's a family tradition. <coughs> Chris, Carol, I, and our daughter are all in the same class. So that makes it interesting. <coughs> and when we go back down there, one thing that you kids don't don't lose your ties to your your classmates. Lisa called last summer and asked, "Can I live with you? I'm tired of the dorm. I wonder why." And Dan says, "Well, yeah, I suppose." Can I bring my cat? <laughs> there is one thing I have to say tonight. Robert said, "Mom, you look like you're 20 years old." Yeah. yeah. I, raised <laughs> I raised that son right. Yeah. <laughs> You know, i got to tell all of you guys, you, you are all very, very <coughs> special to each other, and you're going to see that uh, when you go to your little trip on the boat after graduation is over. And I'm going to say this so that tomorrow during baccalaureate and graduation, yeah, when we're sitting behind you crying, because we will be, all of us, remember that those tears will just keep coming anytime you want them to. You, if you are up against a big brick wall, just close your eyes and remember the good things that will go, and it'll be so worth it. And I am just very proud of this little girl. Went to Oak Grove and has done all the things that she has, 
and I love her, and I miss her, and it's about time she comes home to the dishes. It's been five years. Five years. Five years. Five years.